Hey players, if you finally worked up the courage to ask your crush for their phone number, but you don't know what to say, and you don't know when you should contact them, then you're not alone. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you exactly what to say to start that first conversation, so you're not left wondering, what do? First off, if you're having trouble even asking your crush for their phone number, then definitely check out my video right here where I explain how to do it. But now that that's out of the way, let's talk about what your crush is probably expecting the first time that you contact them. We need the first look at how you got the number and what happened after. Did you, for example, get the phone number and then scurry away, or did you set up plans and ask for the phone number? They gave you their phone number because they want you to contact them, and if you don't, then you're not really carrying through with what you intended to. A lot of guys, for example, get worried as to when they should contact a girl. Should it be the day after, three days after? What exactly is the rule? The truth of the matter is that there is no specific rule as to when is the best time to contact them. In my mind, the very best time to contact them is as soon as possible. For example, once you get the phone number, sending a text message shortly after saying, this is totally not me by the way, with a winky face, is the perfect way to initiate that first level of just having fun when talking to each other. You don't have to have full in-depth conversations every single time you talk. In fact, having short bursts of conversations prevent it from dragging on. A very big mistake that a lot of people make is starting a conversation with, hey, what's up? And here is why it's bad. Saying what's up and then waiting for a response is the same exact thing as saying, hey, by the way, I'm expecting you to create the topic of conversation that we're gonna have here and I'm just gonna sit here and calmly wait. You're putting all the work on the other person. So instead, try continuing the conversation from earlier. Say something like, Hey, I was just thinking about what we were talking about earlier. That conversation is far from over between us. And what you're simply doing is setting a tone that you guys will meet up in the future to continue talking about what you did before. Making small implications like this that you will hang out and eventually when you do actually ask her to hang out prevents you from having to deal with the whole awkward situation of saying, hey, so uh, do you wanna hang out sometime? And if you wanna take the phone call route, the best thing to do is to give her a quick call and say something like, Hey, I completely forgot the name of that guy in Twilight. What's his name? And when she says, I don't know, Edward Cullen, just tell her, oh my God, you are so amazing right now. I really gotta go, bye. They may be a little confused at first, but now what you've done is established that you can call them and have quick conversations. Plus, you've given yourself the opportunity to build on that movie character name anytime you want. They'll feel good because they feel like they've done something productive here. You'll feel good because you're more relevant in their minds and you have now established a situation where calling them out of the blue is not so weird after all. How you choose to follow up isn't as important as what you choose to follow up with. By starting off your conversation small and having them build up to be more and more to where you eventually ask them out, It'll come off as natural and not forced. What do you guys think though? Are you holding back from messaging your crush because you just don't know what to say? Leave your comments below and we'll talk about it. The key here is to not miss out on the opportunity in front of you. Every conversation doesn't have to be fun and sexy and flirty and romantic. Simply focus on getting to know the other person better. That way you can build a connection where talking isn't awkward and neither is making plans. As always guys, love, and peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I make a new video every week on a range of different topics, including self-help, dating, philosophy, and more. Plus, if you want exclusive stories and tips that I don't share in my videos, make sure to sign up for the Josh Speaks newsletter. The link is in the description below. And I wanna give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Zareflight. He made a video a while back saying that he really admires what I do here on YouTube it really means a lot to me. Plus, I just hit 45,000 subscribers, and I just wanna say thank you guys so much for everything. I can't wait to make more videos and to help you guys become your best self.